Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. With this video, we are going to start with a new chapter in our subject microwave engineering. The chapter is titled Monolithic Microwave Integrated Circuits. So far in this subject, we first of all have introduced to what exactly the term microwave means. The microwave frequencies were introduced and the various applications of microwave engineering were discussed. The next few of the chapters were dedicated for the generation of microwave signal based on to the vacuum tube and then on to the semiconductor platform using the velocity principle for the modulation purpose and the negative resistance onto the semiconductor platform. Now we know the transmission with the help of microwave signal, the transmission lines as rectangular waveguide, the circular waveguide strip lines, the microwave resonators, the microwave components have also been addressed and in the previous chapter we are covered with the microwave measurements. So let us start to have the introduction to what exactly the microwave monolithic integrated circuits are. So here we start with our topic. The topic is titled Introduction to Monolithic Microwave Integrated Circuits. So from the four terms into the title, I hope you are familiar to integrated circuits, what we abbreviate to the form and use for simplified use representation that it is ICs here. So ICs are the integrated circuits. So now what are the terms monolithic and the microwave? The microwave, the microwave engineering subject we are in. So I have introduced it into the very first lectures that microwave refers to the frequency range of 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So it is basically electromagnetic wave. So we expect the integrated circuits to be working onto the microwave frequency signal along with there it is the mention of the term monolithic. So monolithic refers to the fabrication of the integrated circuits. So from the Greek words the monos means single or one and lithos means stone here. So it has been fabricated into the only single substrate so that time when such ic is operated onto the microwave frequency signal we call it to be monolithic microwave integrated circuit let us have brief introduction to the background from the ic's to this monolithic microwave integrated circuits so the integrated circuits are basically are having the two types of the components the components can be the active components and the passive components. So I hope it is very clear that those components are generating the energy are called as active. Whereas those components which are just processing the signal generated by the active components are called as passive. So integrated circuits have both of these components, a combination of active and passive components. So we have the semiconductor platform here. Now in general, the electronic circuitry can be divided of the three categories here. The first category we can call it to be the discrete circuit. So in the discrete circuit, this is basically the conventional electrical or electronic type of the circuitry here where we have the separate elements. So after connection and further mounting, the circuitry is made available. So this is the schematic diagram which will help you to understand how the discrete circuits are there. So this is one of the example of discrete circuit where the elements are shown to you and have been separately connected here. So we start in the circuitry from this side where we have the inputs provided the inputs can be denoted as capital A, capital B and capital C here. So the input is provided to the transistor J1 which is further connected to J2. We have J3 also and J4 in this particular circuitry. Whereas the resistances values have 4 kilo ohms, 1.6 kilo ohms. This can be treated as R1 here. We have R2 with the value 1 kilo ohm. 
130 ohms to this particular resistor and from this point we can get the output provided that we have Vs of the value 5 volts here. So now these are the two grounded points here and we have the flow of current represented by I suffix N here. So this is discrete circuit, the first type of the electronic circuitry. Now the second type of the electronic circuitry is called as we have here integrated circuit. So integrated circuit, simply ICs we can call them. So here we have a single crystal chip and it is made up of the semiconductor material. Approximately the cross-sectional dimensions are 50 millis by 50 millis for this. And we have all the active and the passive components into the single crystal. Hence we can call it to be the integrated circuit here. So in the earlier schematic diagram what we had been representing the transistors there. So for the transistor represented J1 this is the equivalent integrated circuit here. So now we have here in this the substrate to be of the P type here. We have the N type of the collector formed in the same substrate. We have next to that NPN transistor whereas we have here the base of P type and the N type that has been diffused here. So these are the various contacts corresponding to here we have collector this connects to the base here the multiple emitters we have shown in the before schematic here and here it is the SiO2, the silicon dioxide we can say. Now after the integrated circuit, that is the second type we have seen for electronic circuitry, we have the third type and it is our topic that is monolithic microwave integrated circuits. Now here again we have a single crystal and the conventional ICs that have been just now represented into the before example have high packaging density but as compared to the simple ICs for the monolithic microwave integrated circuits the packaging density is comparatively low rest of the things are all same with the simple ICs here. Now the monolithic microwave integrated circuit can be visualized with the help of schematic diagram. So this is the schematic diagram where we have microwave integrated circuit. So this is the substrate and over this substrate there are several of the components that have been fabricated here. So for example A, B and C these are the capacitors. We have the inductor also generated here. So it can be there inside. This is the dielectric material. Again, the substrate can be represented here. We have the capacitor capital E that has been mounted over the metallization here. Next to that we have again the dielectric and the bottom metal. So we can give it the name top metal. So you can see here the substrate is the same but over this substrate the several layers as like the A, B, C, D, E and the components a combination of all them can be generated to work on to the microwave frequency signal here. The equivalent lumped element circuitry corresponding to the earlier representation of the figure can be given as we have the capacitor A, capacitor C, capacitor B. We have the inductor represented D here 
whereas the capacitor is E here. So the monolithic microwave integrated circuits is characterized by few of the advantages that I can list out here. The first advantage is that it offers low costing as compared to the conventional microwave circuitries there. It has small size. Next to that we have light weight offered by this particular technology. There it is high value of the reliability Next to that, we have the improved value of reproducibility. And at last, we have the improved performance in overall. So because of all these advantages, the use of monolithic microwave integrated circuitry is suitable for the space and military applications. So I hope the introduction to the monolithic microwave integrated circuits is sufficient here. By the next lecture we shall proceed forward for addressing the second topic in the same chapter. It will be corresponding to the materials for monolithic microwave integrated circuits. So I hope you are definitely enjoying learning the subject microwave engineering and its topics. For more such information and the details of various concepts, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.